Hey everyone, I'm Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's 4200 PSI, 4 gallon per minute direct drive pressure washer powered by a Honda GX390 engine. This is model number DXPW4240. DeWalt makes two models of the 4200 PSI 4 gallon per minute pressure washer. This one is the direct drive model that is $999 and they also make a belt drive model that is $1299. Now the difference between the two is pretty simple. Obviously the direct drive one bolts up directly to the motor. The pump is always going to run the same RPM that the motor is. Belt driven model can run at a lower RPM, also the belt will allow less vibration to go through the motor, possibly allowing the pump to last a little bit longer. More consumers go with the direct drive model because it is a little bit more compact and less expensive. Most commercial units you'll find will be belt driven. Now this unit comes with 50 foot of 3 8 hose that has quick disconnects on both ends. You have five quick disconnect nozzles going from zero, 15 degrees, 25 degrees, 40 degrees, and a soap or detergent nozzle. The frame is made completely of one and a quarter inch tubular steel and you have a 5 8 inch axle that holds the 13 inch pneumatic tires. And you have a downstream detergent injection system on here that is not adjustable, but you could make an adjustable model up for less than $15. The pump on this unit is branded AAA, but the pump is made by Comet. It's a direct drive horizontal triplex plunger pump. And if you'd like to do more research on it, it's model number EW4040. Now the pistons inside are ceramic coated. That gives them a little more ease of movement and a little more thermal protection because this is a water cooled pump. Now you do have a thermal relief valve. Since this does not have idle down, you have full control yourself of the RPM of the unit. It will spit some water out if the pump gets hot. Now what really excites me about this pump is that you can use this lever here to reduce or increase the pressure that you will see through your wand. So you can drop that down to what my guess is 2800 PSI or move it up to 4200 PSI to suit the exact needs of what you're doing. Now the replacement cost of this pump is approximately $300 and it does allow for you to change oil inside of it, check oil through the back on the see-through gauge, and it's a simple 1540 oil that should be replaced after the first 50 hours and then again about every 200. This pressure washer is powered by the Honda GX390 engine and Honda has a great reputation for building quality motors. Unfortunately recently they've had some quality control issues that could cause this unit to possibly have some issues in very rare occasions. Now some specs on this motor, it's 389 cc, it's 11.7 horsepower at its max RPM of 3600, it has 19.5 foot-pounds of torque at 2500, it holds 1.16 quarts of oil, the fuel tank is 1.6 gallons and metal, absolutely love that, and it has a recommended RPM of 2000 to 3600 RPM. So that means that you can adjust the RPM of this motor anywhere between 2000 and 3600 and use it not only to uh, save some fuel, but also to adjust the pressure that you have coming out of your wand. This engine is incredibly easy to start and usually starts on the second or third pull. Make sure that your kill switch is in the on position, fuel is on, choke is up and you pull the throttle up slightly and then you're able to pull and get the unit running. This unit has a low oil shutoff sensor so it won't allow the unit to start or run if the oil is low. Checking the oil is simple on this dipstick. Just pull it out and make sure that the oil is towards the top of the cross hatches. Very nice system, very easy to change the oil on this engine. The air filter sits next to this very large muffler that quiets this motor down quite a bit. Now the air filter inside here is a dual layer protection. On the outside you have a foam component, on the inside you have your normal paper filter. This pressure washer weighs in at 136 pounds and you really don't realize it because of the large pneumatic tires that are here 
and the design of the frame. You can easily store everything on here and pick it up and move it around. If you're putting in the back of the truck, you have a nice grab bar up here for a second person to grab to help you put it in. Now the frame also includes a lot of instructions on it, so you'll never be able to forget how to start the unit, how to hook up a hose, or how to adjust the pump. It's all here in any place that they had a flat surface, they put some instructions on. This pressure washer is covered by a few different warranties. First, you have a three-year warranty on the Honda engine, a five-year warranty on the direct drive pump, a 10-year warranty on the frame, and a 90-day warranty on all the spraying accessories. Now, you also have a 90-day return policy, so you can return it if you're unsatisfied and get your money back. So let's get into how we've used this unit. First, we had it on a commercial job, removing some paint from brick and it worked excellent with that. The gallons per minute really helped us out because the 4200 PSI was perfect for removing the paint and the four gallons per minute helped it move along faster. Now we started to use this unit a little bit more in the residential setting because we were able to clean our shop and use the higher PSI and gallons per minute to get up in the air higher because obviously the further away that you pull the wand from the building, the less PSI and the less cleaning power you have. The higher uh, PSI allowed us to get up closer to those peaks and actually clean something very well. Now the adjustable portion of this is absolutely awesome and it allows you to have one pressure washer that's fuel efficient for so many different applications. We were able to use this unit to clean up our side-by-sides, our ATVs, and even cars without the worry of peeling stickers. So we just dialed it down and went at it. Everything that we use this for, this unit really rocked. And when you pull the trigger on this and you have it in the full 4200, four gallon per minute setting, you know that you have some pressure pushing back on you. I fully love this unit. And the only thing that we have a small complaint about would be the hose that comes with it. When that hose is cold, it's a very stiff and not a very flexible hose, so it can be hard to use, but it definitely will not kink, and that is a big bonus. Now, at the end of the day, when we're done using this, we always took WD-40, went over top of all of the nozzles, any of the quick disconnects, made sure they were cleaned up. That just helps them live a little bit longer, stay clean, and attach a little bit faster. The downstream detergent injection system is very simple. It's just a hose that you're gonna put into your soap and it's gonna suck in about a one to 20 ratio of soap to water. You can't adjust it and like we said earlier, you could easily make up a small system to allow it to be adjustable. In our case, what we did was just water down the soap that we had that allowed us to kind of create the dilution if we wanted it to be a little less soapy or a little more soapy. You can also buy different quality of soap to use with this, but all in all, it's a very simple system for anyone to use. As with any motor, ethanol can be a killer for carburetors, clog up jets, and just not make things happy. So this motor is recommended for E10 or less. We're going to recommend that you use some sort of ethanol additive in this every single tank protect your investment. Now they also make a pump saver that you can pump into this and it's recommended if you're gonna store this for over 30 days. That pump saver helps keep everything lubricated on the inside and keeps corrosion at a minimum. Highly recommended. So other than those few suggestions, this unit rocks. When you take it out and use it, if you're new to pressure washers, be careful because you have a lot of power here. You can tear stickers off cars, off ATVs, you can leave marks in cement and you can even cut through vinyl siding at 4200 PSI with the zero degree nozzle. So take your time, learn the machine, dial that pump back and dial it up as you get more comfortable with it, knowing its capabilities. So I hope we've helped you if you're looking at this unit or any of the other DeWalt units that are out there. They make this one and I know they make a 3800 PSI and maybe even a 3600 PSI. They're decent units, they have a lot of different models. So take your time, ask some questions below. You can also stop by workshopaddict.com, leave us a question there at our blog. We also do a lot on social media and we'll answer those questions as quickly as possible. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more reviews like this. Thanks for your time guys, have a great day.